What is up, nerds? Welcome to Kingdom of Nerdum. I'm here doing an unboxing of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Collector's Edition for PS4. Now, first off, I want to talk about the outside of the box, particularly the slipcase, where you've got the, the Witcher emblem here and here, half and half, which looks particularly awesome to me, plus the factor that it's got this kind of foil effect that makes it look even better. And then on the top, as you see, you've got this contrasting red and blue, which makes it even more badass looking. Um, let's see what else we got here. We've got the contents of the box, which we don't need to go over because I'm going to be unboxing it for you. And then, of course, a kind of showing off of the uh, statue there. So I'm going to get this box naked real quick expose all of its self to you. Now see we've got a black box red top with the emblem again. Nice blood effect on there. It's the same emblem as before just without the foil effect. Still badass. Now going to open the box. in which on top we have this this nice signatures from all the uh, dev I would assume as you can see there on the top it's up here here and up here which is really awesome oh zoomed in alright zoom back out alright then we have these tabs so we can take this out here, which makes things a lot easier. Let's get this up on here. Boom, there we go. Now this, we've got the Witcher emblem again, big theme for this box. And unlike most other boxes where you just kind of open them or whatever, this one slides apart, which I find particularly awesome. So slide that right off. You've got this nice foam core to hold everything. On top we have the art book, which looks freaking awesome. Very high quality Witcher 3 Wild Hunt art book on the side and on the front. Set that aside. On top we have our copy of the game with a slip cover says bonus content the witcher universe compendium detailed world map official soundtrack soundtrack and wolfhead stickers so uh, and this game will be a 35 gigabyte minimum for your ps4 so make sure you clean that stuff up so we have a uh, what looks to be a thank you note from cd project red We've got our stickers Definitely be using those. A map. Open up real quick. To see the game world we will be adventuring in. Very cool. I always love getting maps and, and collector's editions and, and such. Something we don't see too often anymore. An actual physical game manual. Now, that is very rare. I mean, I probably won't be using it. Maybe for The Witcher. The Witcher is kind of a complex game to figure out. And then we've got the Compendium, which... It's kind of just backstory and stuff for... I'm guessing people that haven't really played the games and want to get a little bit of the um, backstory, as I said. Let's see, we've got the soundtrack on CD. Looks like it's got 31 tracks, so you've got plenty of awesome stuff to listen to. I was going to try to get it out of there, but anyway, there we go, is the disc. Very lovely, can't wait to put that in my PS4. Set that stuff aside. We've got the art on the steelbook here which looks awesome. It's white with, uh, not sure who that is, but we've got 
girl walking, and then him on the front with some creatures battling and such. And then a nice uh, pattern on the inside. And there's two spaces for... Oh, that's really cool. I'm guessing so you can put your soundtrack and your game in there. That is especially awesome. Uh, just with that, that makes this one of the, the best collector's editions I've ever unboxed. Just the level of how much it seems like they really put thought into what the gamers want. So the next piece is, of course the pendant, I guess you would call it necklace, pendant, whatever you want to call it, with the wolf. I don't know if you can see the awesome detail on that. It looks really good. It's a nice heavy metal, so you know it's not going to be breaking very easy or snapping or whatever, and so is the chain. It's a nice material, so if you actually want to wear this or just display it, it's not going to break very surprising to have such a high quality material um, for that, which is just great that they did that. And then of course, you know, you've got this nice foam core, so when you put everything back in there. Alright, let me get this stuff out of the way real quick. And then on to the final bit is in here. Right, here we go. I'm going to open it this way so that I can... Ooh. Now, I've already cut the tape off of it because... Um, tried to do this unboxing before, but I was outside and it just didn't go well. Plus the camera died, so... Alright, so we've got what looks to be a tail. If I can get that out of there. Pick him up out of here. Ooh, had this stuck on some tape. Put that down, put his tail on here, which is, it's actually pretty cool, you see there, it's got a metal tip, like this is one of the highest quality uh, statues I've ever seen in a collector's edition. Oh, and then we've got his, uh, the tip to his sword. And there you go. I'm going to dismount this and give you the full 360. And you see there you got his, his sword nice rusty blood detail his other swords on his back with the sheath very nice detail on everything alright then coming around this way Oh, god damn it. Up on the face of the griffin. Brought himself with our, uh, with his, uh, uh, yeah, necklace that we have a model of. Up on the wings. Around the back again. It's definitely a very gorgeous statue. And then the last part, got to flip him over. 
to show you. There you go, it is actually branded The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Great Battling or Girl <laughs> Battling a Griffin. And then it actually has some soft uh, things there. So this is, it's really heavy. It seems to be hand painted. Well, probably not hand painted, but it's still super high quality either way. And yeah, it's definitely probably the best quality uh, collector's edition I myself personally have gotten with just the level of detail uh, that they've given the players and the buyers for this. So yeah, there you go. You get the awesome statue. You get the steel book. You get the necklace. You get the game itself with all the extra goodies. Oh, and then apparently you get extra DLC for free. And, of course, the awesome art book, which I'm going to have fun looking through. So, I know this video wasn't the best of quality, and it's set up kind of funny, but thanks for watching anyway. I just wanted to do this for you guys, because I love doing these unboxings, and uh, showing you guys this cool shit. And, uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe for future bad videos and uh, gaming videos a like and I hope to see you in the next one guys and as always stay nerdy peace